In a previous video, I said that I thought there, are, there is no good definition of robot or a completely accepted one. Why is that? I'll try to address that, that topic in this short video. Well, if we think in history, the term uh, robot was coined by, by Karel Tapek in a th theater play, R-U-R, that well, spoke about robots. And in that uh, play, robots were really humanoid robots. But that's only that was only a play. And some years later, appear industrial robots. And the industry become to call that things that were not really humanoids, but were like robotic arms, just arms, but they were called robots and the industry accepted that term for that devices. As years have went by, different terms or of robot or different, or we have applied the term robot to different things. And not everyone in industry agrees or on what of if this is a robot or this is not. For example, in my book, my last book, uh, Robots in the Sombra, I speak about software robots. And not everyone agrees a software robot is a robot. Specifically, the International Federation of Robotics in, in its annual report says explicitly that software robots are not robots. But at the same time, there are a lot of manufacturers or people speaking about robots when they call or when they speak about robotic process automation or conversational agents. So why why happens these things? Well I think that it, it derives from two facts. First, there's no single authority on robotics that can establish what a robot is or what a robot is not. And the process of naming robot different kind of things has, has not been very rigorous. People or companies have been naming robots according to their intuition or even, or even marketing decisions. But they were not thinking about a rigorous definition of a robot or if this is a robot of is not a robot. So right now we find a lot of things, a lot of devices and even software that are called robots. And if now we want to get to a definition, we must do some kind of reverse engineering, seeing what is called robots and what are the traits that exhibit all of them. That's what I did in my book when I tried to define robot in a way of thinking about robots that include uh, software robots. And that's what I propose to see in a future video. More than trying to arrive to a close definition of robot, we'll try to identify the traits that exhibit most of the things that we call robots.